just like that. <laughs> you cannot tell me I don't look good right now. Like, hey, I'm Jay. Welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I installed this, keep on watching. I'm about to put some powder on the lace. I'm a little frustrated because as you can clearly see, my um wig cap is two different colors because i put the wig cap on first and then the glue on and i think i should have did it the other way um but i want to keep going just in case it doesn't look bad i don't have like a foundation brush all i have is this so i have to like dab this onto my leg so that's what i'm gonna do So I just realized I wasn't recording, so I'm not sure what we have missed. So the problem that I'm having is that this lace is kind of big. It's kind of big, and so I'm worried that when I cut it in three sections, it's gonna be a bit wrinkly. Um, I think I need to cut the ear tab off first. Maybe that's the issue. All right, so I cut the little side pieces off. When this wig first came, it wasn't tangled it didn't have a bad smell to it the hair was really soft and everything was pretty great as far as customer service that was good too i was supposed to get my wig i ordered the wig on friday and i was supposed to get it on sunday but the delivery driver didn't even read the delivery instructions so he failed to deliver my wig and I messaged Amazon letting them know like I didn't get it and the lady asked me if I wanted to provide my phone number so before the driver delivered the wig they could give me a call and I said no if he had read the instructions I would have gotten a call but, but they gave me a gift card to make up for that and customer service was great with Amazon as always. I a nice even layer of that. I did a pretty good job. And I'm happy that when I applied the glue on there, it kind of made the other part of the wig cap less ashy. Somehow this part of the video is really sped up. I think I accidentally did a time lapse on it, but I'm just pressing the glue into the lace. And I put those dots on there to give me a guide as to how far up the glue should be. All right, we had the elastic band on for a little minute now. I blow dried it up with some hot air, blow dried it on some cool air, let it sit for maybe like two or three more minutes, but now I'm ready to take it off. Oh wait, I should put those back on. All right, let's cut the lace. I'm just cutting the lace in a zigzag motion and I'm cutting, of course, behind those black lines, but there was also like a white outline of where the hairline was. So I'm trying to kind of, I'm kind of trying to cut on that line to get rid of that because it wasn't going away with my makeup. And I'm using eyebrow scissors that I got from Target to cut those lace. They're super sharp and super small. It just works so much better. Bro, it's not even laid down. <laughs> oh my god, but it's always so. So it raised up in some places. We got glue over here trying to expose me. Where are my tweezers? So, am I even recording right now? <laughs> Alright, so I have to play around with this and try to like clean it up and get down pretty much all the dang lays. I think, I, I think what happened was the glue was already pretty dry when I tried to put it on the lace. Yeah, so I just got that makeup off with a little bit of makeup remover and a paper towel. And now I'm going to use this to secure the edges and all that good stuff. I'm going to use this paper towel to catch what's going to fall. This is the same paper towel I took off the makeup, the makeup with. So I'm just going to use this to like catch the got to be... Alrighty, so we got it down. I'm so freaking happy because I think it looks good. Let me comb out the hairs that I cut off. And the reason why I didn't um, go crazy well on the hairline is because it's a synthetic wig and so it's gonna shed. 
All right, so am I gonna do baby hairs? I know there's like a bit of shine around my um forehead. Mm, there's a bit of shininess, but I'm gonna, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do baby hairs first and then get that. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling this wig, okay? Like, yes, come through with the blonde. Just brushing my thick eyebrows. I wanted to like get cute for this video, but it's so late right now. So, you want me going that? But I already look good, okay? I really like this wig. Oh, let me get a little bit up close, because so this is what it's looking like right now i'll probably go in with a little bit of makeup around the um edge going with some makeup around the edge of the hairline to blend it a bit better i freaking like it i think i'm not gonna do baby hairs I think you're supposed to, I see a lot of girls like doing this, but I have really long sideburns all the way down. So I don't think I'm gonna even bother with that. I'll probably like just have a few of these coming down. So um, I can like cover up those sideburns a bit. <laughs> just like that. You cannot tell me I don't look good right now. Like, come on. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Oh my gosh. I freaking love it. I, I did that. I did that. Wow. So this is what it feels like to be proud of a wig and stuff. <laughs> wow. But guys, I freaking love this. Like. Do you think I did as good as a job as I think I did? Cause I think this looks freaking good. Oh, I think it looks so good, oh my gosh. Wow. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so my thoughts on this wig. I really like this wig. This wig is great. This is like the first synthetic wig that I've really purchased in about three or four years. So I haven't worn a synthetic wig in a very long time, but I must say this wig is a great synthetic wig. It was only like $53 on Amazon. So it's a great price. It does shed, it does shed, but it's, an, it's synthetic. So it's gonna shed, but it feels so soft. Like I love it. And I think the lace just blended pretty well. Um, I didn't put any makeup around the lace and I haven't cleaned up the hairline yet. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that like off camera it's like getting pretty late and I am very hungry so, so yeah the lace is really nice I'm I think it's a transparent lace I'm not 100% sure I heard someone said I think Erica J said any lace that's blonde any wig that's blonde is going to have transparent lace but on Amazon it's the, it doesn't say that this is a transparent lace so I don't know because I've never seen a transparent lace but that's what it looks like on my hand so you know, you, you can tell me. You can tell me if it's transparent lace or not. But it looks freaking good. Like, it looks so good. The lace, there is a bit of lace in the back that has, it's a pretty long, it's like maybe like an inch long of lace in the back with hair attached to it. And that's probably just so you can like glue it down to your neck, but I don't do that. So it's a little bit scratchy against my neck. But yeah, the hair feels good. It came this color. I didn't do anything to it, like any toning or anything. I thought I needed to tone it, but I don't. I can't even keep my hands out of stop playing with it. I thought I thought I might need to tone it, but I don't think I do. I think it looks really good. I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, the lace is very big. I, I I said this wig is big head friendly, and the lace when you're putting it on, it's it it's more than enough lace to cover your forehead. So I had a little bit of rippling, but um, because I stretched the lace, I got a lot less rippling than other people that I saw on YouTube. So if you are gonna get this wig, you wanna stretch the, the lace a bit when you're putting it on you. Um, and yeah, you know, I only have, 
I don't really have anything bad to say about this. Like, I haven't worn it outside yet. It's, I'll, I will wear it outside tomorrow, okay? I can't, I'm excited to wear it tomorrow. I'll be wearing it tomorrow, but I haven't worn it outside yet, so I don't know how much it's going to tangle and all that stuff. But right now, the wig is doing fine. I only brush it with this, or I only comb it with this wide tooth comb. The only time I used a brush with this wig is when I was straightening it the other night. And it didn't get all tangled up, like, I haven't experienced that yet. A really nice synthetic wig, like, if you want to get a wig, a blonde wig, and you don't want to spend too much money on one, or if you're a beginner with wigs, and um, you want something to experiment with that's not going to cost hella money, not, that's not going to cost a lot of money, but you'll still get a really nice wig, get this wig. This this is a great wig. Like, I, I love this wig, and if at any point this wig does, like, get bad or something, like, it gets too tattered or it starts balding, I will repurchase this wig. This is a great freaking wig. I love this wig, and it looks good. <laughs> it looks freaking good. All right, so that's it for my review on this wig and how much I love it. Go buy this wig. Like, if you were thinking about buying a wig, go buy a wig. If you are a dark skin girl like myself, go buy this blonde wig because it looks bomb. Like, I never thought I would be wearing a blonde wig, but it looks really good on me. Like, I like it. It looks good. So get it. The color is 103. I already said the specs in it, but it's 103. It's 22 inches, I think. 22 inches straight wig all right so that's it for my my thoughts on this wig all right guys so that's the end of the video if you'd like to give it a thumbs up if you have something to say leave a comment down below and if you want to see more from me subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye